Hi guys. Um, I've been a bit lax and slacking a little bit with these videos as you can tell. I've been struggling to get them out recently. Um, some of that's been due to my mental state I think. Some of the stuff I sat and talked to my counsellor about in my last sessions I hadn't really considered what it would have an impact on me which way it did. So I haven't felt too brilliant so I've been, I've been putting these off doing certain things. I had a lot on my mind. The downside to not doing these videos is that you do parts, you put filmed in bits, but then you don't put it together. So you end up with bits all over the place, and then think to myself, I need to get back into this, I need to do this. So they do seem a bit disjointed, I'm sorry for that if that's the case. This video will jump about a little bit. I did a bit of a video a few days ago that you'll see in a sec. In it I said I won't be doing much in the way of unboxing during the videos. And all of a sudden I've got things to turn up that I need to unbox. So I'm going to show you the things I've got. Um, the things that I've turned here, I won't show until the end of the video. After you've seen the other bits I want to talk about. Also my reviews on watches have suffered from me not doing these videos. So I've got some watches that are about three or four watches behind now. On what I want to get out and what I want to put onto the ch channel. I've changed the format of the channel slightly. On YouTube, I've now put the manufacturers as playlists. So it's easy if you're looking for a particular watch, like a Accurist or a Casio watch or something like that. I've put that into categories. It's easier to view certain watches. It might be if you're looking for a certain model. I have also had my magazine turn up as normal, which is, however, always wired for interesting. Do they really? Um, Okay, so that's that. I'll go into the next bit and then I'll come back to the unboxing video. Hi guys, I've got a, another parcel, so something to unbox. I'm not going to make all my videos about unboxing parcels and I don't tend to make all my videos when I get a new parcel, but as I've got one I might as well open it. Okay, so what is it this time I've got? Something I've been wanting for a while, to be fair. So it should be a box inside a box, I'm hoping. It is. And this. Well, it's all the packaging. This is what I'm after. So it's a 1.8 aperture, 50mm lens. I've been wanting one of these ages because I've got 50mm lenses but not with autofocus. This is an autofocus 1.8 um, which I've been looking for for a long time because I've got a lot of different uses for it. Started off with the manual lenses. This is a manual lens. It's a 1.7 aperture but it's manual focus and manual aperture control. Now the camera I've got, the Pentax is very good at using these lenses. This is a nice lens for low light and for portrait shots. This is quite a good focusing range, um, fairly easy to focus. Now on the older cameras you used to have focusing screens, on the newer cameras you don't, so it's not as easy on the new camera, but it's still quite a nice lens to focus. This would have been more the kit lens that you would have got in the past with your when you bought your camera. You usually got some sort of kit 50mm lens, and this would have been the one. The next step up from that, which I also had previous to having a digital camera, this is off of film cameras, is a 1.2 50mm manual focus, manual aperture lens. This lens has a much, much bigger opening at the rear. It's huge. Um, and that allows it, the 1.2 or 1.12 aperture range. Now this is a fantastic lens, it's very heavy. Um, very big glass area on the front. Um, it's a beautifully put together lens. But the downside to this lens is the focusing range on this lens is very, very narrow. So especially if you have this lens at the 1.2 or one of the lower, lower aperture settings, the focusing range is very, very low, so it can be very difficult to focus if you're doing portrait shots. Overall shots is fine, and on the higher range, again, you get a really crisp, lovely, clear image. 
but if you're trying to do a portrait shot with a depth of field um, the focusing range is, you know, you'll focus on somebody's eyebrow but not the rest of their face it's a minute focusing range but it's brilliant because fantastic results but neither of those because they're both manual and manual apertures they weren't that easy to take out and there's some pictures I've taken um, bands recently at night in pubs places like that and you need a better low light lens but you'd all like to have one with the auto aperture which is what this came into which is a 1 2.0 so the aperture on this is two. This one has a slight dent in it, that's not a problem. It has got the auto aperture setting, so it means that the camera can set the aperture as it feels necessary, depending on the rest of the settings you've got, whether it be ISO or the shutter speed. Quite a small opening at the back on this one, so this is an F2. The others have shown you already with an F1.7 and an F1.2. This is an F2, but again, it's been useful for the band stuff that I was doing because of the aperture. Although you still had to focus it manually, it's a bit of a pain, especially when something's happening in the band. It's not quite so easy to focus as quick as you'd like. Okay, so that then brings us on to this, the new 1.8. 50 millimeter lens. The reason I've got this lens, this is a autofocus lens. So this one you have, have an aperture ring, the camera sets it, and it's autofocus. So it's all set by the camera. The whole reason for it, as I said, is simple. It's like with the shooting the band and other things indoors with like low lighting or spotlight, stuff like that. It was very difficult to focus on the band with the high ISO and try and get the camera not to shake. So um, focusing will be a lot easier with this, it will focus itself, I won't have to worry about that, I'll just have to hold the camera steady enough um, to stop shake or if the band's moving a lot. This hopefully will do a lot of work, work for me. Okay guys, hi again. Uh, the other day we went out with my, for a bit of fun, with my old basketball. This ball is two years older than my 30 year old girlfriend. So it's a 32 year old basketball. Got it when I left school, took it with me. Hasn't had a lot of use, to be honest with you, since. Um, so we took it out. It has lost a bit of its bounce. Or quite a lot of its bounce, to be honest with you. So it wasn't as much fun as I thought it would be. replaced it. So this will be for exercising, trying to keep me a bit fitter um, and this does bounce properly and hopefully I might be able to score some baskets with this. It didn't do very well with the old one. Alright, okay, so I said I've got another unboxing video. This is the package I arrived today. Um, I think I know what it is. It's some of the stuff I've been buying recently. I've been trying to get a better quality camera for filming these vlogs. The one I'm doing at the moment is on the phone. I've used the other camera before and I said they're not that brilliant. My SLR's got too much noise on the motor for the focusing so that affects the microphone a lot. And uh, there's noise in this, in the, in the phone, you'll notice that this phone's got, got a slight noise which is really annoying me now. So I want to get something better. I've been looking for Panasonic G cameras, those sort of things, but I haven't quite found what I want and at a price that I can afford because I haven't got any money. So also up with the unboxing, there's some things I haven't always unboxed in front of you, some things I might not unbox. Now, one of them was recently was this Fitbit's arrived. I bought this Fitbit on eBay. It was broken. Um, bought it for sort of spare parts, really. Luckily, where I work, we have these things on display as dummy models. Sometimes you have dummies to display, sometimes just lying around spare dummies. So the dummy allowed me to fit a new strap to this. I don't know if it works yet because I haven't actually tested it because I still need to get some other bits for it. 
but I fit a new strap to it, which was one of the main reasons why I bought it from the person that's selling it, because I was selling it cheap because the strap was completely ruined. Um, I did make a bit of a mess of it because it's actually very, very difficult to change on this strap. It's not supposed to be changed. Um, Fitbit don't recommend it, so it's doable, but it's a real pain. There's some videos on YouTube on how to do it. Though. So that's one thing I haven't done an unboxing for because I knew when it would come, it was going to be in a right state with a bit of a mess. Okay, so why did I get this and what is it? Well, if this is what I think it is, and I'm hoping I think it is, it was just a bit of a win. A nice little compact camera. Now this is to hopefully replace the one I have in the car. I have a little Polaroid in the car which I got from work as a giveaway thing. Um, it's very poor quality but it's okay for accidents but it's not really as good as your phone. And I have a 7 megapixel Sony which I carry about sometimes when I go out and I take the SLR out and also to take pictures of my watches to catalogue them. Now they're not pictures I put on the internet. I, don't, I put them in the Facebook group so if you look at my Everyday Watch Facebook page, you'll see pictures of the watches. I mainly take them for myself to catalogue what I've got. So I use the Sony for that. I'm hoping that this will replace the Sony and I'll use this instead. Um, this looks okay. Now the problem is, again, this was bought cheaply and the reason it's bought cheaply is because it has a blob on the back of the screen. Yeah, it doesn't really affect the mode actually. You can see what it's doing. So you can still see. Actually, quite nicely. And of course it's a Pentax, which is why I bought it, because I got my Pentax SLR cameras and all my cameras generally have been Pentax, the only Sony and the Polaroid, the only exception because they were dirt cheap or free. I've also got some more bits as well turning up soon. I've um, ordered a few bits and bobs which I will put into maybe other videos. I'm not going to put them all in one video, because I don't want my videos, as I said, just to be about this, unboxing stuff. I want to talk about other stuff, like playing basketball and that sort of whatever we're doing, you know. And there's a Pugathon coming up soon, so I'll probably film some of that. And we'll just do general stuff and see how it goes. Still looking for suggestions. If you've got any ideas, if there's anything you wanted to see, or you've seen other people do, or any questions you've got, ask me and I'll be able to reply to you. Thanks.